Hey folks, welcome to the UniHosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and today's video will be about where to host the Unify controller as an MSP for your clients. We are going to explore the different self-hosting solutions that are available and also compare them to a managed hosted solution like UniHosted. If you always wonder yourself which one is the best for your MSP business, well, it depends. So we are going to compare pros and cons and then this will help you to decide which one is the best for your MSP business and your clients. So now let's begin. All right, folks, let's begin with the first option, setting up the network controller or network application on a physical server or virtual machine. And you can do this on your own data center if you have one as a, an MSP, or maybe you can do this on your client site on their existing infrastructure. So let's go with the uh, good things. First, flexibility. You can install the network application or network server in Windows and Linux. You can uh, even use containers if you want. I'm here at the Unify website. It's really easy to just go here and get the network application. So if you go here to links and downloads, you can get network server or network application. We even have videos on how to do this if you want to do it on your own. So let's go with the second good thing about this and is you have full control about updates. We know that with every system for updates, our updates may break things. So if you want to have full control over updates and just decide when you want to update, well, this is something uh, good for you. Cost. If you already have infrastructure there, you don't have to get a new server or things like that. It's really, really, um, let's say cheap to set up the network controller or network server on a VM, on a, on a host or physical server because the application is free. So you can just go ahead and download it over here. And also you don't need a lot of resources or you don't need like a lot of RAM or a high CPU amount on that server. Of course, that depends on the amount of devices that you may have, but to start, it's going to be something really low on resources. Now. Uh, this may be good maybe if you have a uh, some clients that you don't have an agreement or, as an MSP and they are just like a break and fix or it's a relationship like that. So you may want to use this option and just install the network application on their site and then you can manage as needed. Let's go with the bad things about it. Well, if you don't have any kind of uh, hardware already there or maybe you are tight on resources on your host or things like that, well, you will need to expand things a little bit. So yeah, you need dedicated hardware even if it's low at the beginning and you just need to manage a few devices. Now, another important thing, you can manage the Unify updates, but you also need to manage the uh, system updates like for Windows and Linux. And that's something really, really important that, of course, you will, it will take some time for you or your technicians to work with. Now, if there's any issue with the uh, hardware, of course, you are responsible about it. So you will need to deal with that as well. So any issues that uh, may happen on that host, on that VM or things like that, well, you're responsible for it. And of course, that's time and money. You will need to set up the remote access now. There are several ways that you can do this. Now, if you only want to manage the controller, you can use the UI um, uh, website of Unify where you can basically sync the local controller or a local controller in, into that platform and manage the controller over there. Now, if you are setting up a network controller on your own data center and you're going to adopt several client sites to that VM or server in your own data center, you will need to do a few things in regards of networking and security that uh, sends me to the next um, part of the slide, which is basically, yes, networking and security is on you. You need to be very careful about it. If, again, this is something, if you're going to manage several sites from just one place, which can be your own data center. Things about backups and SSL certificates, it's handled by you, so that's time as well that you need to uh, take. And of course, you need um, technicians and or you need network admins or sysadmins to do the setup or do any kind of maintenance. So that's basically time that they will be spending on doing installations, updates, and things like that. Okay, so that's about it for the first option. All right, folks, now let's go with the second option, which is setting up the network server on a cloud VM or a cloud provider. I have here on this side Linode, which uh, is a cloud provider I like. We also have the uh, AWS pricing calculator. You can take a look at these sites if you want to calculate how much you will need to pay monthly to set up AVM an instance with a cloud provider. DigitalOcean and Bootstrap probably they have also the costs uh, of setting up AVM with them. Let's go with the good things about setting up AVM in the cloud for the network controller. If you're already using the cloud to host systems or uh, services, you know that you don't have to maintain any kind of hardware. This is something really, really nice about setting up things in the cloud. Now let's go with the second thing, which is basically really easy to add CPU, memory, or drive size, extend the drive size if you need to. You don't have to be dealing with any kind of hardware thing. It's just easy as to go to the cloud platform and do the upgrade over there. Now, uh, uptime for setting up a VM on the cloud, you know it's really, really high. So you don't have to deal with uh, anything or any issues with the uptime over there. 
it's easy to set up the remote access. If you need to manage the uh, system or VM, it's going to be something easy to set up. And same as if you're setting up a controller on your own data center, you can centralize all your clients' controllers in just one instance and manage all of them. And you have you will have a uh, multi-site or multi-client, if you want to name it that way, network controller or network unified controller. Let's go with the bad things. Of course, this will add a monthly cost for all of your clients. Of course, you will have maybe only one bill, but you will need to bill your clients for what you're paying on this VM on the cloud. And not only you need to know or your technicians need to know about Unify, but they also need uh, or you will need knowledge on the cloud platform that you use, any of the cloud platforms. Things like patching, updating, and SSL certificates, you still are in charge about it. Then we have the bandwidth uh, charges with, you know that with any uh, cloud provider, any ingress or egress traffic is built. So you need to be careful about that or take that in account when you are uh, thinking about the bill or the, what you will pay for that VM in the cloud. And also same thing if you are setting up a centralized controller, just like you will do on your own data center, you need to be really, really careful with security, maybe not with networking, but really, really careful with net um, security if you're exposing the controller to the internet. All right, so that's about it, about uh, setting up the controller on AVM on in the cloud. Again, if you wanna check out the pricing, you have uh, Linode over here, we will show you all the price. Uh, you can also calculate the, uh, for example, if you want to set up a VM, which is a, called an EC2 instance uh, in Amazon, you can use a calculator. All the uh, cloud providers will have some kind of estimate or a calculator if you want to see how much you will pay. If you're not going to set up a lot of devices, uh, probably you're going to start really low, like with only four gigabytes of RAM and two BCPUs, and you don't need a huge drive to install your first controller. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you. All right, folks, third option, and this will be using the built-in controller on your Unify gateway. I'm here at the Unify uh, website and I'm looking at the cloud gateways because these gateways, they come with the Unify application. You can see here, we go down over here and we have the Unify application. Same for these ones that say Wi-Fi integrated. You can see we have the Unify application. Then we have also the big ones that they also include the server, the network server over here. And good things about uh, using this, you don't need any kind of extra hardware. You just use the gateway. So if you're planning to set up this on your client site, you can just set up the application server here. Well, it will ask you to do it. Uh, really simple to set up. And it's just something that you would do at the beginning. So really simple. You don't have to deal with installations or anything like that. Just the setup of the network application, like um, managing or creating the networks, the Wi-Fi, things like that. Now, um, let's go with the bad things about this. And well, depending on the gateway that you purchase, you will have some limitations the amount of devices that you can uh, manage. So this is something really, really important. Depending on the client that you are setting up this, you have limitations with it. Same for the performance. You need to be careful with it. You need to think about how many devices are you going to manage with that network application in the gateway. If there's an issue with the gateway, like it's completely dead, you will lose the network application as well. And well, you need to be careful with it, take your backups and plan for disaster. Now let's say that you deploy this to several sites and let's imagine that you need to do updates on each controller. That will be a lot of time for your technician to work on that. So it's going to be difficult in regards of time because again, you will need a technician or a sysadmin doing uh, updates on each um, client site or each gateway. Maybe if um, you have a, only one VM or network server, you just do an update on one server and that's it. Something uh, important is, is that some gateways, you can adopt them to a centralized um, controller, but some of them don't, you can't. So you are limited there and you will need to use maybe the built-in controller only. And again, you will need to update each um, network application on the gateway. Then for remote management, well, you will need to deal with things like security and networking. Uh, if you want to remotely manage the controller, you can use the UI website. It's easy to sync, but again, you will need uh, to access each controller on its own. And this basically is time. If you have a centralized controller, you can do just everything from a single place and then you can switch really easy between sites uh, again something important not all the gateways uh, you can manage them with a centralized controller so please take a look at that before you're thinking of setting up this kind of gateways okay let's go with the next one all right folks let's go with the option of using a cloud key to host the network application or network controller i'm here at the ubiquiti or unify store you have two options for cloud keys the one that i'm going to talk about is the basic one the cloud key plus because i think this price or the cost of this device is something that we can compare to the previous options. You also have the Cloud Key Enterprise, but this is something really, really expensive. And I think it's not worth 
to compare this to the other options okay now let's go to the information about the cloud key and now i'm going to talk about the good things and the bad things about this this is basically the device that it was or it is designed and built to manage unified devices on a site so it's a very good option if you want to use it really simple to deploy you just connect the um, cloud key on the network and you don't have to deal with any os installation or network application installation like you have to deal with if you go with the bm option or virtual machine option now if we compare this to the previous um, option which is basically using the network application on the gateway you will have an issue here um, with this the good thing about this device is if the gateway dies you don't have any issues with managing unified devices because the network application will be on this device which is the cloud key so you don't have to or you don't depend on the gateway uh, if there's any issue with it you can still manage the unified devices bad things about getting the cloud key for each client you basically need a cloud key so for each client you need to get a cloud key for them so that's money um the capacity to manage devices is limited if we go down here you have the capacity calculator and by default you have the network application you can see that you already have a limit for the amount of access points that you can add to a cloud key now uh, something really really important and the firmware and uh, updates are managed device by device so basically um let's think about this uh, imagine you have your technician this is something really similar to the previous case where you're using the built-in controller of the unify gateway you will need your technician you will need your sysadmin or network admin go through each cloud key and do the firmware and network application updates so that's a lot of time that your employees can uh, be doing something else instead something that you can build uh, more uh, for like any kind of projects or things like that so i think this is something really really important to mention and um, then if there's any issue with hardware well you will need a technician on site to check what's happening with the device okay so that's about it to uh, about using a cloud key again if you want to see more details about the cloud key you can go to the ubiquiti um, store and you will have all the details and uh, you see you have different options for the price of the cloud key all right folks now i'm up here um, and we are getting into the last part of the video and this will be using unihosted for your controller and your client's controller so good things or pros and same as setting up avm on the cloud you don't have any kind of investment or upfront cost to uh, set up the controller or the vm let's say uh, for the hardware investment you don't have to deal with anything like that or any kind of on-site maintenance for the hardware where you're setting up the controller now um if you want to deploy your, your unify controller with unihosted it will take you just a few minutes and this is something different than setting up a vm on your data center or maybe on a cloud controller because you don't have to deal with the installation of the system and the network application with uh, unihosted you just need to do a few clicks set up a payment option and then you will be deploying the unify controller for you and your clients so something that you are not going to spend time dealing with the installation of the unify controller now let's go with the updates of the unify controller and unihosted will manage those for you we test the updates first before deploying them to our clients so this is something that uh, again you are not going to spend time with and even if you want maybe to hold the updates we can help with that as well we will uh, give you a notice when your controller is going to be updated for ssl certificate management we can help you with that as well you can bring your own domain if you need to uh, so this is something we can help you with and same thing for backups you don't have to spend time thinking about backups or anything like that we have because we have automatic backups for your controller now another important thing and this is about security we have an extra layer of security with the controllers that we set up uh, for our clients so this is something really really important and um, you don't have to deal with this if maybe you are setting up something on the cloud or on your data center well you need to deal with this uh, but with using unihosted we have an extra layer of security same as the previous options you can centralize uh, the management of all your client sites on a single controller so this is something really really important that as an msp you need and you have enterprise support this is not covered by the other options so this is something that we really will help you to your msp msp business so you can focus on other things and if you have an issue uh, we have enterprise support and we can help you now what is um, the cons of using or the con of using unihosted for the unify controller we will go uh, down here and basically is the cost now i mentioned before on the other options that maybe you don't have a cost with uh, setting up the controller maybe the cost is, is, is translated into the time that your technician is setting up the controller but again installing the network application is free now with unihosted you have a base price that you will pay for the uh, unify controller and as you um, scale with more devices 
the price of this monthly subscription will increase. So you have here the pricing. You have also the free tire, but this is not recommended for production or maybe for your clients as an MSP. Now uh, you can see here if you increase and you move uh, up the uh, 30 uh, devices, the price will increase. So yes, this is one of the or the main downside about using UniHosted, and this is something that you need to consider if you are thinking about UniHosted. Uh, so the price will be up to 500 devices, uh, where it will show you here the price for the controller. If you need to um, know what is the price for more devices than 500 you can request a call to uh, us and we will help you with that okay so that's about it and the pros and cons of using unihosted as a unified uh, controller well folks that's it for today um at the end there is no perfect solution for anyone you really need to analyze all the good things and the bad things uh about where you are setting up the unified controller for you and your clients uh hopefully this video will help you to think uh, about it and if you ever need uh to spend more time on other things for your clients and not spending time uh, with the management installation setup uh, of the Unify controller, remember that you have Unihosted as an option for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, uh, or questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, and also turn on the notifications for the upcoming videos in the Unihosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando, and I'll see you in the next Unihosted video. Ciao.